Today on The Spot. We check out the latest coming this week to PlayStation Network and Sean gets a demo of Hardcore Uprising. Today on The Spot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Today on the Spot for Saturday, October 1st. I'm your host, Chris Waters. My co-host, Kevin Van Ord, is right over here in the co-host spot. Kevin, how's it going? It's good. It is the first day of October. It is. Can you believe it? The 10th month of the year is already here, bringing with it just like a dizzying array of big games. We've got an amazing month ahead. What do we got coming up? we got Fallout. Fable. Fable. Vanquish at the end of the month. Rock Band. Uh, rock Band. It's just all over the place. And, and like awesome. a whole lot more that people in the comments are probably going to be upset that we didn't mention. Absolutely. Sorry, we're doing this on the fly. Uh, folks, we're going to toss it over to the news and then on to more demos and whatnot. Uh, so let's get Tor Thorson out here and talk about what's happening. Hey everybody, it's your GameSpot News Update for Saturday, October 2nd. I'm Tor Thorson. With the changing of the month, Gears of War 3's April 5th launch is now just six months away, and gamers couldn't be more excited. This just in, Gears of War 3 has been delayed until fall 2011. The delay is not for quality control purposes, but rather because Microsoft decided that Gears of War 3 would make a nice holiday tempo release, just like the last two Gears. Indeed, Microsoft is already predicting the Xbox 360 exclusive will be the biggest entertainment launch of 2011. And that's a bold statement given it's going up against such titles as Star Wars The Old Republic and, in all likelihood, two Call of Duty titles. In other news, those hoping to play as the Taliban in EA's upcoming shooter Medal of Honor are out of luck. Executive producer Greg Goodrich announced that they are renaming the insurgents in the Afghanistan-based game's multiplayer mode Opposing Force instead of Taliban. He emphasized the game's multiplayer mode, which is being handled by EA DICE, will remain unchanged otherwise. The move came following a wave of complaints from family members of those troops either serving in Afghanistan or those who have perished there. The name change comes nearly a year and a half after Konami dumped Atomic Games Iraq War Shooter Six Days from Fallujah because it let players assume the role of anti-American insurgents. So for the record, you can make a game about the U.S. being devastated by the Russians in a fictional apocalypse, no problem. But if you want to make a realistic game about an ongoing war, you better watch your back. Well, that's it. Your GameSpot news update for Saturday, October 2nd. For more headlines, head on over to news.gamespot.com. And now that you're all caught up, let's talk about what's on the desk here real quick. Kevin, have you taken a look at these things? I haven't, but you were reading the back earlier, which was very interesting. That these are So these are like little peripherals that you stick your PlayStation Move in. This one's a gun. This one's got like, it's like a multi-pack. There's a sword and a shield and stuff. Uh, but this is one of those products that has just like really ridiculously overwrought descriptions on the back of pretty simple stuff. Like the gun has a hole in the back where you can plug in your USB cable to charge the Move. But it describes this thing as gamer requested rear power port allows high capacity recharge with increased freedom of movement. Like it's it's a hole. I'm all for that. Yeah. It sounds awesome though. I want some of it. Give it to me now. <laughs> right? They really ex uh, amp it up and uh, if you're amped up about this kind of thing, you can win it later in the show. But uh, up next, what's happening, Van Ord? What do we got? Well, I like stuff. I like the PlayStation Move. I like the PlayStation 3 in general. So let's take a look and see what's on PlayStation Network this week. Take it away. This week on PlayStation Network. In downloadable games, digging through the ancient world with a shotgun has never been so fun than with Laura Croft and the Guardian of Light. Join Laura and Totec on their underworld adventure, team up with a friend or go at it alone as you traverse and solve deadly traps, fight hordes of undead enemies, and collect dozens of weapons, artifacts, and relics. After that, get strategic, sort of, with Swords and Soldiers. Blend ninja monkeys, Aztecs, and brutal Vikings with everything you know and love about real-time strategy games, and you've got swords and soldiers. Acquire resources, assemble your army, thwart enemies, and dominate your opponents in single and multiplayer local and online modes. In game demos, join a fighting league with the EA Sports MMA demo. Enjoy the authenticity of the world's most intense combat sport like never before. Go on the offensive with a dynamic control system for strikes, elbows, knees, and kicks, and strategically manage advances and counters with an intuitive submission system. Battle it out in the Strike Force cage, or deliver vicious soccer kicks and head stomps in a ring in Japan. After getting off the mat, take it to the air with the My Sim Sky Heroes demo. My Sim Sky Heroes is an all new adventure that brings the thrill and high speed action of flying to the creative, immersive world of My Sims. Speaking of immersive, the Heavy Rain PlayStation Move demo is getting released. Run for your life like never before. This demo for Heavy Rain features two levels from the game, 
is fully playable with the new PlayStation Move motion controller. After that, it's time to stomp on mythology with the God of War Ghost of Sparta demo for PSP. In his quest to rid himself of the nightmares that haunt him, Kratos must embark on a journey that will reveal the origins of lost worlds and finally answer long-awaited questions about his dark past. Next, keep the fight going with the Dragon Ball Z Tag Team Demo. For the first time ever in the Dragon Ball series, experience 2 vs 2 team battle. Jump into the white knuckled action with signature skills and super attacks. Also in demos is Pro Evolution Soccer 11. And to try from downloadable games, Laura Croft and the Guardian of Light, and Swords and Soldiers. In game add-ons, Viva La Resistance with Borderlands Claptrap's new robot revolution. Mod Nation Racers gets the air mod and cart, Mafia 2 drops the Greaser Pack, Renegade Pack, Vegas Pack, and War Hero Pack. Naughty Bear releases Episode 9 Pirate Bear. Blaze Blue Continuum Shift adds a new character. Death Bank Thongs of Virtue sees the release of the Snowy Mountain Dungeon DLC and Tanko the Warrior DLC. My Aquarium Blue Oasis gets an underwater glamour set. Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock releases the Soundgarden Telephantasm album. Rock Band drops the Anthrax Pack 1. And for PSP is Valkyria Chronicles 2 DLC Pack 2 and Little Big Planet PSP Costumes of Motorstorm. Game trailers this week include the Swords and Soldiers trailer, the Resistance 3 announcement trailer, and don't forget to go back and take a look at the Bioshock Infinite announcement trailer and gameplay trailer. That's all the time we have, folks. Join us next week for more This Week on PlayStation Network. Up next, folks, it's the first of our two daily demos, and this is for a game called Hardcore. Now, I know you can tell by my very subtle pronunciation that it's actually spelled C-O-R-P-S, not C-O-R-E, Hardcore. You get it? You follow I, I, I do get it, although it's kind of interesting. This morning I came into the office, and uh, one, of our, one of our office mates, the great Van Nuyen, um, decided that uh, he was going to tell me about this new game. It's called Hard Corpse. And uh, the first thing I thought was that, that sounds awesome. Is that like a game about rigor mortis? Is it like, like, yeah. is it like zombies and like all the things you could do with, no, no. No, just a, just a little misread. Yeah, a little, little bit, but uh, Hard Corpse still sounds kind of excellent. And we're going to toss to Sean McInnes, who's got the demo. Let's check it out right now. <laughs> All right, everybody, it's daily demo time, and right now we're going to have a look at Hardcore Uprising, courtesy of our friends Kenji and Pearl from Konami. Guys, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. So let's start by uh, talking about what this game is all about. I know it doesn't have the word Contra in the title, but it's it's pretty similar to the Contra series in a lot of ways, uh, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, but uh, it's kind of oh, uh, I guess the best way to put it is it's like it's like a spiritual prequel. It's kind oh, yeah, of a spin-off yeah. series mm -hmm. in a way. But, uh, heavily, of course, heavily inspired by the uh, Contra Hardcore, but okay. it's not direct sequel or prequel. The, uh, we are calling the uh, imaginary prequel. Imaginary uh, prequel. Yeah. Mm. That's a good description. <laughs> uh, so we've actually got the game right here. So guys, let's uh, let's get started and show everybody what uh, what it looks like. Let's actually um, mm -hmm. let's talk about the the two main modes in here. Oh, um, there's okay, yeah. there's arcade mm -hmm. mode and yep. there's rising mm -hmm. mode. Um, rising mode is sort of uh, it, it's it's quite a bit different from what we've you know previously seen in uh, mm -hmm. in other games of this genre. Ah uh, yeah. So the um, in a rising mode, so we are putting uh, some kind of the character development features. Okay. Yeah. And the user can earn the, some in-game points. So we, we are calling it uh, the corpse point. And so in the, in the shop menu, so player can consume those kind of points and get uh, some kind of the new protector or some new weapon or some new move. Mm -hmm. So and then so you can uh, make a new move or you can have a more uh, light gauges, yeah, okay. something like that. So and we are trying to put more accessibility for all level of the users. So uh, maybe the arcade mode, uh, we are uh, targeting the more uh, hardcore gamers. Mm -hmm. So it's a uh, really, really hard game. It is, <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is a shoot 'em up so you have to make yeah. sure the challenges and difficulty mm -hmm. is still there. Yeah. But um, so mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the, the rising mode, like mm -hmm. you said, is sort of uh, something that helps introduce new players because yeah, you can, you can yeah. unlock mm -hmm. rewards that help make the game a little bit yeah, easier yeah. for you and uh, exactly, help exactly. you against that challenge. Uh, so, but, so the users will, uh, on this mode, uh, users will not be uh, wasting uh, your play time. So mm -hmm. uh, every play, every move, every defeating uh, each enemy, so you will get, uh, you will get some sort of the point mm -hmm. and then you can get new items so 
Uh, next time, maybe you will be a little bit uh, stronger than before, and then uh, little by little, uh, your character will be developed and more easy gameplay. Or uh, next time, you will maybe. Uh, last time, you, if you d die three times, mm -hmm. maybe next time you can just only twice or right. just once, uh, okay. uh, little by little. And so at the same time, uh, probably the, the player get used to the game. And right. uh, maybe your actual uh, player skill will be increased. Yeah. I wanted, uh, we really wanted to help those, uh, uh, how can I say that? Uh, People who aren't yeah. necessarily yeah. hardcore right. shooter <laughs> right. uh, players yeah. will still enjoy this kind yeah. of gameplay. We're going to invite to the uh, world of the hardcore gamers mm -hmm. or something like that. And of course, uh, we are supporting uh, uh, online co-op mode, so, and also voice chat will be available. So you, maybe you're going to utilize the uh, voice chat and uh, oh, so it's cool. at the same time, or <laughs> 3, 1, 2, 0. Uh, I, yeah, some kind of the <laughs> moment. Yeah. Like Kenji would be telling me. <laughs> <laughs> but Kenji is too polite to say that. He is. Uh, well, guys, I appreciate you coming by and giving yeah. us a look at Hardcore Uprising. Yeah. You guys are um, playing very well. I have, to, I have to commend you here. This is not an easy game. I know that, I know that all too well. Uh, one last question I've got for you. I know that you don't have a... A, a solid release date plan, but when should we expect to see the game come out? What's the what's the general timeline? Oh, this is coming uh, 2010 winter, winter. Uh, which is available on the XBLA and PSN. All right. Yep. Kenji, Pearl, mm. thanks a lot for your time again. We really yep. appreciate it. All right, guys. So that's your look at Hardcore Uprising. Now let's carry on with the rest of the show. All right, folks, it's trivia time. Now, for all the fun I was poking at these things earlier, they're actually kind of cool. This one's got shield, sword, bow arms, and ping pong paddle. And uh, the gun is neat because it has an attachment for the navigation controller right underneath. It's kind of aimed like this. Something I haven't seen before, kind of neato. If you want to win one of these, here's the trivia question you got to answer. What six games are included in the PlayStation launch title, Sports Champions? List those all and send us your answer using the module on the side of the page or shoot us an email to onthespot at gamespot.com. You could win yourself some of these neato thingies. And with that, our show is coming to a close, folks. Thank you for joining us here on the first Saturday of October. Uh, as we were saying, there's just a lot of reviews coming up in store for you folks. What do we got next week, Kevin? Uh, right now, I'm working on Final Fantasy XIV Online. So, uh -huh. yeah, so yeah, I definitely want to take a look out for that next week. And if you like that Enslaved demo, Tom McShay is going to have that review for you next week as well. Be sure to tune in for that. Now, for everyone here at the GameSpot Studios, I'm Chris Waters. I'm Kevin Van Ord. Have a great weekend. All right, folks, it is trivia time now for all the fun I was poking at these peripherals earlier. They actually look pretty cool. The thing I like about this gun jobber is that uh, not only does it have the... the, tri the <laughs> <laughs>